This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Bet Freight. Today we're joined by Kala Saul and Kala just witnessed a brilliant British title fight between Denzel Bentley and Linus Sadovia. Denzel Bentley, a two time British champion. Obviously, Linus being a Wasserman fighter, not the result you wanted, but what a fight for Channel 5. I think the winner tonight was boxing. Um, I thought Denzel, congratulations to him, fantastic performance. Fantastic performance from Linus Sadovia. Went down to the wire. Um, you know, I, it was. An amazing fight. Um, it was, to be honest, an amazing card. Sometimes you get lucky and, and, and you, you pull off cards like that. And tonight was one of those nights where we had a card that, you know, the fights were, were very, very nice to watch. And that's what we want, to attract new viewers to the sport on free-to-air television and to bring the sport to new fans. Like I said, when we announced the deal, I hope that the people watching, I'm not sure what was on before, but whether it was a game show or a movie or whatever it was, was driving Miss Daisy, that a few of those people stayed on, watched, you watch 10 seconds of that fight, you can't turn over. You can't, that's compelling viewing. I've said it before, you know, we are in the business of controlled violence and that sells when it's great. And this tonight was the fine art of boxing. It was fantastic. It was just great to see. And anyone who would have turned on for, 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 for a couple of minutes would have, would have watched the rest of the fight. It was as simple as that. And it, it doesn't matter what round you looked at. It was great for her. Just on the fight itself, Linus had started very well, but Denzel, we know he's got the, the British title level experience. He's been down the stretch many times. How impressed were you with his conditioning? Obviously, he had the knockdown that wasn't scored, but came on so strong down the back stretch. Yeah, I, you know... Uh, I don't know, I, I mean, I haven't spoken to the, the corner uh, since the fight, but it was clearly that he started very strong. Although I would make the point that even in the strong rounds, Denzel had his moments. Also in Denzel's strong rounds, Linus had his moments. That was the fascinating thing about the fight. There was rarely a round where you just go, yeah, that was his round, or yeah, that was his round. It didn't really happen. There was, a, there was a couple of very big Bentley rounds around, I think it was around six or seven, um, I haven't watched it back, so don't don't slay me if I got it wrong. But um, um, we're 20 minutes since the fight actually ended. Um, but you know, um, I guess if you call it a really tight fight, what made the difference? And I would say that Bentley has had that experience already in his career of the Felix Cash fight, the way he bounced back. He's already showed to me that's the way that. Denzel Bentley showed he took positives out of a loss and made them work for him. They made him work for him tonight. Linus needs to do exactly the same. So, yes, our guy didn't get it, but, you know, as I said before, as a promoter, I'm delighted we put on that show. I, I think it was fantastic, and I'd love to do the rematch. Just a word on Josh Kelly. Uh, I spoke to him off camera and he was dejected as you'd expect with his opponent uh, being pulled. I spoke to Nissa and he was rightly furious. Can you just explain to people what happened? Bottled it. I mean, there's, there's the only, that's the only thing I can really say. I mean, he seems to have bottled himself in the hotel room. I mean, you know, we had the weigh-in yesterday. Nothing spectacular. He came, he came in a kilo over. Fair enough. There was a... a Penalty agreed, and then, um, but he, he could have asked him to make weight. Then he could have said, "No, you go and you got to go. You got your, your time to cook off the to cook off the the, the the kilo, as it were." Didn't do that. I, I mean, we shook hands on the stage. Everyone saw it. Shook hands, and um, then suddenly today they start on. Well, we're not boxing, and you know. So I thought it was a money thing, and I don't know. So uh, we sort of tested the water with increasing the penalty so to speak but it became very clear that it's weren't money and then um, I said to him I said look get the scales down let's see how how much apart they are on the weight now yeah, because uh, ultimately the, the weighing's nice but now it's fight time let's see let's see what the difference is they weren't even interested in that at that point I knew I think we have a serious issue we couldn't tell Josh yet because I, I was just thinking to myself is this like the greatest um, 
sort of game ever and he's just going to turn up suddenly and say oh it was all a big joke no we're ready to fight and, and imagine we would have told Josh before and you know then we would have had a major issue so yeah it was disappointing but as I said he, he'll be out in New um, in, uh, in Liverpool first uh, in June and um, you know so it's was it four or five weeks and it's it's yeah, it's not great but you know it's what it is for Josh and he, he knows boxing um you know, he was, he, he was, he was really, yeah, shocked by it, and uh, he, he had tears in his eyes, and uh, it wasn't a nice message to break. You know, it was a weird one to break. To be quite honest, first thing he said is, "I want to get in the ring. I want to tell the fans in the arena myself," because he had a lot of fans come down for him. Um, so quite a few hundred tickets, given that it's in London and his, his fan base is from the northeast. Um, yeah, it was. It was. It was. An, it, I thought it really showed a lot to me of the character. You know, it could have been left to the promoter to go and do it. He wanted to go up and do it, and, and I think that says a lot about Josh Kelly. At the same time, um, I think the card. That's why you have a stack card. You know, if you look at uh, the performances, Harlem, Eubank, fantastic, shifting up gears so fast. He's shifting far faster than a Formula One driver at the moment. I, tell you, I can't. I, I thought we'd be in, a, in for a long night's work with Masha Dodd, but. Made easy work of it. It was quite a statement for me, at least. Um, I think for quite a few others as well, judging by the reaction. Um, Brad Paul's been a cracking fight with Ryan Kelly um, for the British title eliminator. Brad Paul's nicking it. Um, Razor Ali also back. Good to see him back. And um, you know, so yeah, with Katarina Farnes winning. So it was. It was a. Uh, and also, I've got to say. Dan Morley as well, putting on a great performance beginning in the night. So it's through the card was uh, was was great fun to to promote and watch. All right, Calla, uh, thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social, and we'll catch you soon.